Hello and welcome back to video four of the 22 Abs onboarding sequence. Of course, my name is Matthew McGregor and today we're diving into my favorite topic, which is the top yet simple strategies to monetize your app and earn more income. Uh, because uh, what I'm going to be diving into is the idea that your app is not just um, like a like a website or something you can, you know, people check it out, but it's like, yeah, it doesn't really make you money. No, no, no. This is a monetization tool to earn you more income. Okay. So let's dive into it. Uh, and again, very important. If you haven't already go watch the first four videos, like they're, they're, they'll be very useful in explaining what I'm about to go through. So, uh, let's dive into it. Um, uh, the idea here is that you always want to be thinking with everything you do, whether it's with an app, a, a Facebook group, a podcast, um, a, a, obviously a funnel, uh, but really anything. Uh, how are you moving people from not knowing you to knowing you to loving you to buying from you? Okay. And that's what we want to be considering when we're thinking about how we're designing our app is we always want to be thinking about um, how can we how can we engage people and get people excited and get people really valuable content and help them live a better, you know, life. Um, and at the same time, how does doing that or how can, uh, by doing that, we can move them in the direction of saying yes to our programs, products and services. Um, and so again, this is the idea is, is designing your app with the intent to sell. It's all about what can we do, to make sure that we're providing them an immense amount of value, yet at the same time moving in the direction of, uh, of the sale or, or, or having them say yes to one of your programs, products, and services. Um, so the first question that I want to ask you is, uh, what do you sell? Because this is a big deter uh, determiner of, um, of what of how your app is going to look like or end up being um, or end up being. So, uh, do you do one on one coaching, counseling? Um, do you have some sort of group program? Do you have some kind of service? Uh, do you? Uh, and for some reason, it's not on there. Do you do e commerce? Like, uh, do you sell products? Um, do you have like reports or software? Or, like, what is it that you sell? Right? Um, because. The, the reason we want to make a note of this or, or keep this in our minds is uh, that directly affects how we go about asking for the sale. Okay. And it directly affects how we go about moving people in that direction of saying yes to our programs, products, and services. It depends on two things. Number one, uh, what the offer is. Like, is it a group program? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it a service? Is it software? What is it? And then the second thing is, what is the price? Is it premium? Is it somewhere in the middle? Or is it more on the low end in terms of price? And, uh, and this will dramatically affect how much um, convincing a prospect needs in order to be able to say yes. Okay. Something that's 27 bucks needs a lot less convincing than something that's 19.97. Right. So let's dive, uh, let's dive into it. Um, uh, oh, and if you've got nothing to sell uh, before we go on to the next thing, um, consider joint ventures or sponsorships. So if you're, if you're thinking, I don't really have a program product or service that I want to sell yet. I kind of signed up for this, this app thing idea. Cause it sounded kind of cool. Um, consider joint ventures or sponsorships where you might make your app around, uh, giving as much value as possible. And if you have a lot of, as I talked about, I think in the last video or, um, one of the, one of the previous videos, um, as I talked about daily active users or monthly active users, that can be hugely valuable to joint venture partners and or sponsors where you could offer a spot in your app to people who want to pay big dollars to have that screen real estate. Screen real estate is becoming so, so, so valuable. And oftentimes in certain areas, it can be more valuable than real real estate. Um, and so consider this is, is if you build a large following and add a lot of value, um, you can have sponsorships or you can have jo joint venture partners where you say to somebody, Hey, you know, uh, you get 50% of the sale. I get 50% of the sale. We'll call it a happy day and we'll all make a lot of money together type of thing. Right. Um, just make sure you have uh, joint ventures and sponsors that, uh, you know, um, coincide with your brand and your values and that sort of thing. 
So the second question is that I was, uh, I was going to dive into is what is the best method to sell your program product or service? Is it a phone call? Is it a webinar? Um, is it at an event? Is it in person? I'll go through all these individual. I'll just read them off first. Uh, on your website, in the app, through a challenge, this sort of thing. Because as I mentioned before, it's, it's based on a mix of uh, price, value, and, uh, and then like what you're actually selling, which is uh, in the mix of value. So um, something that's a little bit more premium might, or, or complex, premium or complex might need to go to a phone call. Oftentimes, uh, most coaches, consultants, um, uh, or high-end programs usually go to a phone call. So that might be your main call to action that you want to be emphasizing throughout your app is in any of your videos, any of your audios, any of your articles, um, uh, in the menu as well. You want to have a button or a place where it's emphasizing, hey, book a call with me. <laughs> Okay. Um, you might also choose to use webinars. Now, webinars are really, really, really powerful. Um, webinars are where you bring on the audience for about uh, 20 minutes to an hour um, and educate really, really profoundly about a given topic. Usually webinars um, uh, typically need a price of 500 to $3,000. Sometimes it can even go up to 5,000, but that's a little rare. Um, 500 to 3,000 is, is usually about right for, for a webinar. And it's where you come in and you start educating the audience uh, about um, either A, <laughs> something that they need to know before purchasing your offer, okay? Or B, the awareness of, uh, of like you and your world and um, what's kind of going on. And I'll actually share a couple of examples. So um, uh, how a successful webinar can work is if you have something you need to teach people before they say yes to your offer, such as an easy to understand example would be, um, I used to do a webinar where uh, I taught people how to write really, really good um, copy, like how to write really good emails and landing pages and scripts and this type of stuff. Um, and what I sold after that was done for you funnel building services where I basically upsold them into uh, into the next step. Well, it didn't upsell them. That was the first sale, but it's kind of this natural progression of, I don't know anything about online. Matthew teaches you everything about online. <laughs> and then Matthew can do that stuff kind of uh, for you. Um, though the other side of things might be more like an awareness piece. Maybe you need to educate your clients on the awareness that something either exists or doesn't exist. It might be um, three, it might be a, a myths or keys. It's like um, it, there can be a lot of, especially as an example in the, um, the kind of relationship counseling sort of world, like with relationships and this sort of stuff. Most people don't understand relationships at all, right? And they need to be taught the awareness of what's actually true and right and what they should actually be doing. Okay. Um, one example is, uh, is, is one of, uh, uh, one of my clients, Karen teaches people how to speak and sell, um, from stage and what she teaches people in her webinar that they don't actually know. And that she brings the awareness to is that it's important to speak for free rather than being paid to speak. Cause, because if you speak for free, you can sell your progress products and services. Um, so, that brings us to at an event, which kind of fits in nicely with what I just said. It's very similar to, uh, to webinar in person is very similar to a call uh, on your website might be if you do like a, like e-commerce or you sell some sort of pro product, excuse me, anything like that. Um, in the app could, can also be an option there. Uh, and then through a challenge, a challenge would be like where um, you might have a, a whole group of people engaging in like some kind of community or some kind of posts. Um, uh, it's, it's a, it, or some kind of like product launch or book launch or something like this. Um, it's really up to you as to the method that you go when it comes to selling stuff, it might even be like, if it's a restaurant app, it might lead people into actually coming to the restaurant, not necessarily selling them, but more so selling them on the fact that they should come check it out. Right. So 
um, consider that. Uh, make a note of what is the best, best method you can use to sell your programs, products, and services. Um, and uh, here's an example of a webinar funnel that I've created in our own app um, where it says like, hey, welcome back, you know, Jennifer. Um, uh, we're actually creating this awesome webinar. You can learn more and it, and it shows her, hey, here's how you could triple engagement sales by creating an app for your business, whatever, whatever. Um, and she can register right there in the app and it says on the next page, you know, you're in. And she doesn't even, in this case, um, I've actually set it up where she doesn't even need to enter her name or email. She can just simply click register now and it's gonna send her push notification reminders to show up to the event. And at the event time, it's going to reflect where it's gonna have the Zoom link on the home screen um, for her to be able to, you know, log in. Um, uh, and of course, she can also add it to her calendar right there from within the app. So consider that. What can you do or what can you have or what you, can you put in your app that if, if you were just free and you could do whatever you wanted, how would you do that? I could also have a registration form here where, where it has the name and the email. Um, I just chose in this example not to, but I could if I want to. Um, now, something that's super, super important is in regards to monetization, chances are good. You already have a bunch of other platforms that you use. You've got GrooveFunnels. You might also have ActiveCampaign or Infusionsoft or MailChimp or AWeber. You might have some kind of members area, Kajabi, whatever it is you've got, um, which is fantastic. What we're super excited to be announcing that's going to be coming in 2021 with uh, with 22 apps is the ability to actually be able to link up your 22 apps pro account with your autoresponder so that you'll be able to actually connect all this kind of stuff up um, in 22 apps pro so that you can actually get people, uh, you can be sending people emails and having people tagged and having people um, uh, be sent different action items outside of the app. So for example, if they, um, if you want to send them emails and have that delivered outside of the app, you could connect this up and have it uh, be delivered nice and easily for any kind of campaigns that you're running. So consider that as well, as that is definitely an option. Um, and uh, to kind of add to that, not only is that external piece coming, but we also want to be considering for the time being uh, the idea of push notifications mixed with scarcity and urgency. Okay. I really like event-based stuff because it has this element of scarcity or urgency kind of built into it. Um, though, whatever kind of campaign it is you're running, more and more so in the digital marketing world these days, it's becoming more and more where people uh, people are procrastinating on taking actions or people are uh, either, either procrastinating on taking action or they simply forget. They don't remember, okay? And this is where push notifications mixed with uh, scarcity urgency can kind of come into play is where you can share an offer or you can share an opportunity and remind them through push notifications that it's a limited time thing that it's not going to be around forever. It's a, it's either an event or a limited time offer or a limited time discount or whatever it is you've got. Consider that as well. And this will dramatically help improve your conversions when you're um, emphasizing that people should take action now mixed with the reminders and the push notifications to uh, help them to make that choice so that they don't forget. Um, cool. So I've put a bunch of app examples below with different funnels, different setups, different ways of monetization, of course, so you can check that all out. Um, and your mission this day, should you choose to accept it, is how are you going to move people from not knowing you to knowing you to loving you to, to buying from you? Okay, how are you going to do that? What is the selling system that you're going to be mainly implementing as your main uh, method of converting uh, leads, uh, converting, you know, prospects into leads and leads into customers and this type of stuff. Um, so uh, be sure to join our Facebook group and share your sales strategies in the comments there. I put a link below so you can go over to a particular post and be able to share that uh, with all of us. It can really, really, really help 
everyone benefit together. And I also love reading this because uh, I'm a little bit of a, you know, a sales guy. <laughs> um, uh, it's kind of my thing. So I'll, I'll, I'll love to go in there and, and, you know, see the different things that are going on. I'll also share my insights uh, as well to really help the community um, succeed together in creating all these apps, which is awesome. And remember, once again, be sure to share 22 apps and get paid. Uh, once again, we will pay you 40% commission uh, on every single sale plus 10% from any person who uh, who generates a sale who you actually refer. Um, oftentimes we call this JV brokering and you'll notice uh, in our affiliate portal that we've actually given you a JV broker link. So maybe you don't have anybody that you can directly bring in or directly refer. Well, we give you a JV broker link so that you can refer somebody who might bring in and refer many, many, many people. Okay. so. There's a lot of potential there and there's a ton of potential, especially as a pro member, as you get double the commissions and both in tier one and tier two. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you in video five, where we're going to be talking all about how to turn your app into reality. And I'll see you there. Looking forward to it. Bye for now.